Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Travesty playing some subtlety today. Alright, we just finished up here in the Symbols Palace. Got all our marching orders and everything, and I think we're ready to go. We uh, need to head into Velprintalar and get ourselves all prepped so we can start dealing with Mervol. We do have a lot of a lot of quests piled up, so <laughs> we're going to see what's going to happen out here. So we're currently here in the lobby, and I think this is the way out of here. So let's head into town. And here we are in Velprintalar. Okay, that's how we get back into the palace. Alright, let's take a quick look at the map. We're up here on the north side. We have the Great Library. Imported weapons and arms. Refreshments. Blacksmith. Blacksmith. Magic exotics. Light arms and armor. Forestry shop. Medicinal sundries. The Shadow Master's safe house. To the docks, to the temple district. House lock. Oh yeah, uh, Aliandra said we should probably head there first before we do anything else. The Paladin Inn. To the gatehouse. House Lynn. And to the Noble Hill. Well, we should probably listen to what Aliandra said. And head over to her place first. Alright, there's a lot of merchants over here. Let's take a quick look over here. Imported cows! <laughs> Another merchant here. And... Another merchant here. Weapons from abroad! Won't find craftsmanship like this anywhere else from the uncommon to the exquisite. Hmm. Everything here looks a little overpriced. Weapons like this can't just be made. All corners of the world are covered here. Hmm, looks like we're gonna have to do some... some speaking with this guy. Let's go to Mishka. She's got a lot of conversation skills. It looks like a lot of this stuff didn't come from that far. Thesk, maybe Thay. Of course not! Massacre or Karatur. Places from beyond this plane, even. I couldn't possibly lie about such fine goods as these. <laughs> yeah, we failed the diplomacy check, so... Alright, let's take a look. Let's see what he's selling. Hmm, he's got a lot of unique weaponry here. Wow, is this stuff expensive. Plus two weapons. Alright, what else? Wow, that is expensive. All right, let's see. What else do we have here? There's another merchant here. Shatterproof vases. <laughs> what about this one here? Trinkets from abroad. Here's a merchant in a wagon here. Need a drink, stranger? All right, let's see what you have. All right, bunch of liquor. Nothing I'm concerned with, though. All right, let's take a look at the map. Where are we actually here? Okay, that must be the refreshment stand. Imported weapons and arms, that's a person we just talked to. A tailor and a blacksmith. Let's go this way. Alright, who's this guy? Another merchant. Is this the tailor? Yeah, it looks like it. Fine silks! Robes beyond your imagination! At a cheap price! Hmm, let's see, who's got the highest diplomacy? Let's see, Peldor's got two. And Mishka. She's got a ten. And what about Aliandra? Oh, she's got a sixteen. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with that. But it looks like Peldor and Mishka have an opportunity to try to talk her down. So let's go to Mishka. Everything here looks a little overpriced. Do you have any idea how far the material has to travel? Through pirates and worse. <laughs> let's see here. Uh, let's try diplomacy. Maybe we can go to Aleandra here. 
The symbol keeps these waters safe, and you know it. Oh, we just failed it? Diplomacy is only 19, damn. They come from more dangerous waters beyond Aglaron and over the land from there. My routes are my business, as are the prices. Buy or make room for someone who will. <laughs> okay, I'll take a look. Wow, these are expensive prices too. Boots of hardiness plus two for 18 grand. Damn, we only have just over 3,700. Oh, there's a lot of good stuff we need to look through here. All right, we'll come back to her later. All right, let's take a closer look here at our skills. All right, who's got the highest appraise? Peldor's got a 7. Mishka's got a 14. And Aleandra's got a 2, but she's got a high diplomacy. And let's see. Relatively low bluff, though, and a low intimidate. All right, Mishka. She's got a decent bluff, a decent diplomacy, and a low intimidate. You have need of me. And Peldor, low bluff, low diplomacy, and low intimidate. Yeah. So we can use Mishka to deal with appraise and probably Alejandra to do diplomacy checks. There's a merchant here. Does this guy say anything? Yes. Nope. Another merchant over here. In need of medicinal and healing reagents, are you? This is the best quality stuff in town. Hmm. All right, let's see. Let's go. I wonder if this is an appraise check here. Yeah. Let's let's use Mishka on this. Everything here looks a little overpriced. All right, let's go to diplomacy. With some of your wares, I could put an end to this war. Surely you don't enjoy to profit off others' injury. And we failed again. Damn, why are we rolling so low? Single-handedly, you're to end the war? How dishonest of you. You'll pay what everyone else does, or you'll leave. <laughs> Alright, I'll take a look. Yep, this stuff is highly expensive. Got some plus two weapons here. A lot of scrolls, potions, and a lot of trinkets. Looks like it's mainly for clerks and stuff here. Yeah, yeah we can't afford any of that stuff. All right, let's see. Does this merchant know anything over here? You have need of me? Nope. What about this one? What do you have? I'll take a. What's he selling? Oh, he's got a bunch of food. Morning special. Cure light wounds. Hmm. All right. Let's keep looking over here. Merchant there. And this one must be the blacksmith. Finest arms and armor in the realms. And crafted to the highest standards. War is upon us. Don't be caught unarmed. Or you'll not have arms. Huh. Everything here looks overpriced. The finest smith in the realms isn't cheap. And neither is the enchanting process. I don't expect you to understand. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. Yes, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't charge a fair price. Oh, we were successful that time. Nice. Maybe a discount will keep your mouth shut about that. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to Mishka. Show me your wares. Damn, everything's still expensive. Yep, a little bit out of our league. Got some plus two weapons, a lot of unique items here. We're gonna have to come back to that. All right, what's this merchant selling? Arcane artistry at its finest, friend. Come, take a look. Everything here looks overpriced. Of course. Quality comes at a price, my friend. Magic is limited in Aglaron, and Shang Lin is the only general supplier. Alright, let's see if we can talk this guy down. You may be onto something. I'll give you a small discount now. Alright, show me your wares. Yeah, we're getting experience points too for successful uses of our skills here. Yeah, a lot of magical, yeah, magic user type stuff here. 
All pretty damn expensive though. Ton of scrolls, bunch of potions, bunch of trinkets, a lot of wands, and some grenade like weaponry. Alright, let's keep looking at the rest of these merchants. The wilds can be dangerous anywhere, but with what I have here, he'll be safe, I guarantee it. Huh. Looks a little overpriced. Alright, let's try this again for a few coins less. I can be safe, and you can still profit some. Alright, success. Very well. Wouldn't want to see you end up as a demon's food, or worse, before you make it to the front lines, after all. Alright, show me your wares. Alright, a lot of light armor. Stuff useful for rangers and druids, probably. Plus three arrows. Yeah, a lot of plus two weaponry and some unique items, too. And some scrolls, a few potions. A couple trinkets and some wands. And some trap kits and such. Alright, let's move on. There's another merchant back here. Everything here looks a little overpriced. Alright, let's try it all again. Hmm. Alright, we were successful. Why did we just get kicked out, though? Okay, show me your wares. And this is probably more thievely type stuff here. Yep. Plus one, plus two weaponry, some uniques. Some more scrolls. Trinkets and traps and poisons and stuff, yep. Okay, yeah, we're going to come back to these people later on do a bit of shopping. First, let's head on over. Yeah, let's head on over here first to House Lock. Since Aleandra yes. said it, we should go there first. A lot of stuff over here we can spend some money on. Unfortunately, it's so damn expensive. Let's keep going. Alright, that's the library right there. Let's keep going. Is this guy a citizen? He say anything? No. And some guards, more citizens. Oh, Aleandra just said something. The building ahead with the red roof is the Paladin Inn. This is the best place a traveler can hope to stay, they say. If House Lock is in poor shape, as I suspect, we should consider staying our nights here. Who knows what conditions the beds will be inside, but they could stand to be replaced, and I won't have guests sleeping with rats. Rats? I say we stay at the inn. <laughs> okay. And Paladin Inn. That's the place right there she's talking about, apparently. Alright, let's keep moving. All right, this must be house lock right here. And Aleandra just spoke again. House lock, my home. I haven't been here in months. The guards aren't even posted anymore. I wonder what has become of it. My father has been gone for months. It's about time I rebuilt, I should think. Regained our honor. Come, Pelder. It's time to see what's left. Alright, let's go check it out. And we got a cutscene. We walked into House Lock, and the place was in complete disarray. The stench was an immediate assault on our senses, almost disorienting. <laughs> Crushed wood, broken trinkets of little worth, and soiled clothing was all that remained of what was once one of the strongest noble houses in Belprintalar. The only thing that looked relatively untouched was a small shrine in the corner of the room. What happened here? What's that smell? You used to live here? And to think I was jealous of nobility. They weren't much better off than when I was on the streets. I, I can't believe it. 
This can't be my home. I'm sorry, Aleandra. It wasn't you who did this, Peldor. You have nothing to apologize for. Still, I don't want to see you upset. That's considerate of you. Thank you. We should take a look around. Much of House Locke's wealth was stored in this building. There must be something left. Get out of here, you vagrants! Come to steal more, have you? Get out! Manfred, you're still here. Of course, lady. You have guests. I shall set about a meal at once. Excuse me. Manfred, the formalities are hardly necessary now. Lady, I... It's good to see you well, Manfred. And you as well, lady. Many of us feared the worst with the curse chasing you. I feared we would not meet again. But as the debt began to increase and the guards began to grow thinner, few concerned themselves with your safety and began to think of their own. Soon I was here alone. Where am I to go? This is all I know. My wife died here years ago. What happened here? The thieves came first, lady. After the guards left, we had no chance of defeating them. They took anything that wasn't too heavy, worth more than the copper. Within days, the house was nearly bare. The rest of the servants left soon after. I didn't think you'd want them on the street, so I gave them their apartment to keep. I sold my own and hired mercenaries to guard the building, awaiting your return. But that did not last either. Soon I was fighting off the drunks and beggars and whores alone, but I am an old man. The only thing I managed to keep intact was the shrine, lady. I know how much you cared for it. I am sorry, lady. If I was a little younger... Manfred, you did well. It brings joy to an old man's eyes to see you well. I'm glad to see you as well, Manfred. These are my friends. Friends of House Lock. Peldor of Ulm and Mishka Ray of Glarandar. This is Manfred. Used to be one of our servants but no longer. Of course, lady. I thought you might say that. I've arranged with the palace the papers for selling the land and House Locke's assets in case you had not returned to be set aside in your name. I will get the paperwork. House Locke lives as long as I do. I will rebuild, Manfred. But I wish to serve you, lady. I do not understand. Anyone who shows the courage and loyalty you have is no servant of mine. I wish for you to become the first adopted noble of House Locke, if you accept, of course. I couldn't possibly accept such a gift. You deserve more, old friend. Please, I beg of you. I don't know what to say. It's settled then, Lord Manfred. I will serve you proudly, Lady Aleandra. Of that I have no doubt. You can put away your armor and blade now, Manfred. What we are going to do here doesn't require a sharp blade, but sharp wits. We spoke at length about the current situation and challenges facing House Lock. Much of it had to do with finances and business enterprises, specifically how House Lock has little of either. Lord Manfred. Lady, I'm still not. Between us, will just Manfred suffice? I expect you to drop the lady in return then, old friend. In any case, what you're saying is all of our business has switched to other houses, and we owe a large tax debt to Valprintilar. That's correct, Leandra. So, how are we to rebuild? We cannot even afford to have the house furnished. Peldor will provide the means. Excuse me? I'm not even sure that she'll be required to do anything at all for my plan to succeed. But if you could spare a moment, please just listen to my plan before you dismiss it out of hand. The house that gave you the gift after the banquet. They wish for you to become a noble in their house. They lure you with a gift and present you an offer later when you go to see them. It's fairly customary. But if instead we put you in as an honorary member or friend of the house... They may be obliged to do some favors for House Lock instead. Of course, that will most likely come at a price, 
for they'll be loath to hand out anything without a favor of their own. Either way, that's our only hope of rebuilding House Lock, as I see it now. If you choose to help us, Peldor, I would be in your debt. Anything we've got done here will only make us stronger for our fight against Mervol, but the choice is yours. Consider it done, lady. You have the heart of a true noble, Peldor. I am again in your debt. Manfred, I leave you to tend to the rebuilding of the house. Your strength is in affairs such as these. My father trusted you with the finances, and so will I. Peldor, if you choose to assist us, Manfred can direct you to what he needs and take care of the repairs. Please speak with him if you have further questions on the matter. Allow me to suggest that you stay at the inn until this building in his more serviceable condition. Rats and such. Hm. All right, let's talk to Manfred then. Lord of Ulm, how can I help you? What can be done here in a manner? Unfortunately, at this point, not much. The beds are filthy. You can rest in them, but you're likely to catch a disease of some kind. I'd stay at an inn until they are repaired. You can also pray at the altar if you wish. We have much work to do, Lord of Ulm. And if I was a bit younger, I could offer more assistance. Hmm. Alright, Shrine to Seamorph. This is a small shrine to Seamorph. Pray for a blessing. Seamorph hears your call and blesses you with more regal air. Alright, what do we get? Oh, a charisma increase. Nice. Yep. Alright. Anything else on this thing? Pray for healing. The goddess answers your prayer with a healing light that washes over you. Alright. Alright. And let's take a look around the rest of the place, see if there's anything interesting in here. Probably not. The place is all in ramshackle disarray here. Got a couple doors over here. Alright. This must be the bed with uh, lice in it. <laughs> Uh, I'll come back later. I don't know if I want to risk resting that thing. And we got our empty armoire. Alright, what's through these doors? More rubbish. And another sleeping area over here. Anything different with these bed rolls? No, I'll come back later. And one more door down here. This was my room for as long as I can remember. Look at what those thieves have done to the place. It's times like these I turn to my faith, Peldor. I am charged with ruling over people that, within a matter of months, forget what you have done and will pillage and loot your memory. But I believe it is that reason that we must continue to rule. For how long would it be before the same thieves turned on those who were not meant to bear such injustice? I think that in rebuilding I am showing them a strength. That I will be stronger than ever when it's through, and they will respect me more when it's done. It is a shame how quickly people will forget what you have done for them. Maybe I didn't do enough. I guess that most noble houses fade into obscurity in time. Why shouldn't Locke be any different? In any case, maybe we should take a look at the rest of the grounds and see what else needs to be done. You know, Aleandra, there may be another way to show your strength to the scum that did this. How so? We rebuild your house even bigger and stronger than it was. Stronger than all the houses in the city. Maybe with your help I can do just that. Let's go, Peldor. Alright, and another sleeping mat. Doesn't appear there's anything else in here, though. Oh, there's a door right here. Let's check this one. And that door appears to be blocked. Hmm. Alright, what's through here? Oh, Danith's in here. I feel as though I've been in this hovel entirely too long, Peldor. Ah, oh, that's the elf we saw back at the Yearwood. 
How humans can stand to live in places like this will forever be a mystery to me. And, I suspect, one best left unsolved. In any case, greetings again, Peldor. Mishka, always a pleasure as well. Peldor, who is this elf that seems to know you? And you must be Lady Aleandra. The pleasure is all mine, my lady, I assure you. That doesn't answer my question, elf. Of course, forgive me. I picked up a tome not long ago about human mannerisms and was doing my best to duplicate them. I must have failed. <laughs> I am Danith, a star elf of Sildir. I met Peldor of Olm in the Yearwood as they passed through and was offered an opportunity to help my people through using my unique skills to aid him. Obviously, I accepted. As I find myself here before you, I'm hoping that I can stay here for the duration of my employment, if the lady will have me. And what kind of work could an elf from Sildir, you said, be doing in Velprintali, I wonder? Whatever is asked of me, I suppose. I'm not interested in coin, but knowledge. Knowledge we elves are lacking, and the humans can provide. You must understand, dear Lady Aleandra, that the Star Elves have been out of touch with the affairs of Farron for centuries, and we need knowledge direly. Aleandra, he's a friend, and his motives are pure. Surely you could find a space for him here. Very well, Lord Danith. You are welcome here, as long as you feel the need to stay. I thank you, Lady Locke, for your hospitality. I am eager to find some of the more obscure tombs of Velprintalar. I trust you have some work for me. I'm afraid nothing right now. Under my protection, you can hunt on your own, anywhere. Just be here when I need you, and don't forget my cut. <laughs> Fair enough, Peldor. I'll leave your share of what I find in that chest. Oh, there's a chest in here? Okay. Alright, and another sleeping mat. All right, we got to remember he's in here. All right, we can't get into this door though. Hmm. Anything with this thing? No. Hmm. Maybe we can get into that somehow later on. And there's another door over here. Let's check this one out real quick. Another room filled with rubbish. Alright, that's probably all we can do in here for now. We are running up on time though, so I think we're going to explore the rest of Velprintalar in the next episode. Let's go ahead and do a quick save here.